I just spent a year in Japan working in elementary and middle schools. I ate school lunch every weekday and I photographed my meals whenever I could. I'll tell you everything I learned about Japanese school lunch and if you're going to be an ALT like I was, I'll give you some tips to avoid the three mistakes that I made during my first few weeks eating school lunch. When I think back to American school lunch, I remember bean and cheese burritos, like in a package, some vegetables that looked like they were frozen, maybe an orange or an apple, and some milk. No one was very excited about school lunch, but I was pretty excited to eat Japanese school lunch. In Japanese public elementary and middle schools, everyone eats school lunch every day, the students and the teachers. The kids do most of the work to help set up the meals. A truck arrives before lunchtime every day and the food is still warm when it arrives. The students put on masks and an apron and a hat and divide the food out into individual portions. The students eat in their classroom along with most teachers. Once the food is all set up, we sit down to eat. But before you're allowed to eat, all together everyone says, Itadakimasu! Which is something that people say before every meal in Japan. It's kind of like saying, let's eat! Or, thanks for the food! The first time I ate school lunch, it felt really fast. It was hard for me to finish on time, especially at middle schools where the portions are slightly larger and there's a bit less time. I feel like the kids finish their meals in 15 to 20 minutes. The meal always includes either rice or bread. For me, I think Tuesday and Thursday were bread days and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday we had rice. And then typically there's a soup and some kind of meat or fish and a vegetable or salad type dish. And the one constant every day is the milk. Besides that, there's sometimes an extra piece of fruit or some kind of dessert. For some reason, I don't have a lot of pictures of bread meals. I think it's because I mostly took these pictures on Mondays and Fridays, which were elementary school days. And the meals are planned by a dietitian at each school, so they're healthy and they taste good too. Plus, they only cost about $3 per meal. Some of my favorites are things like this. Like a stew with tofu, potatoes, vegetables, and beans. And the kids' favorites are always curry. Some of the most interesting would be when we had wild boar or deer rice, but I don't have pictures of those. I don't think those are common things to eat in Japan. It just happened to be uh, in the city that I was in. Then once we're done eating, we say all together, Gochiso sama deshita. And then the kids start cleaning up before their break time after lunch. Next, I'll talk about what it's like to be an ALT joining in on school lunch. Hopefully this helps if you're going to be an ALT teaching in Japan or if you're just interested what it's like being an ALT in Japan. As far as I know, it's only elementary and middle schools that have school lunch every day like this. At high schools, it's different. So for me, it all starts when I'm sitting in the teacher's room. I went to a different school every day of the week and in most schools, a student comes to get me. The grade level that I'm assigned to eat with changes every day. The student takes me to my classroom and shows me where my seat is. And usually I don't help with the setting up of the lunch, but in some schools I did. One thing you might want to know is that there is a correct way to set up the tray. The soup always goes on the right side and the rice on the left. Chopsticks at the bottom and milk in the top right. If there's an extra snack, it goes in the top left. At least that's how it was in my experience. Don't feel pressured to talk to the kids, but if you feel comfortable, it's a nice gesture to try. In elementary school, they don't really speak English, so you might have to try speaking in Japanese. And in middle school, 
simple English that they learned in class should be okay. If you spill something on the desk or even on the tray, uh, it's a good idea to wipe it up using a tissue. You can carry tissues in your pocket to lunch or ask any of the students for a tissue. Okay, so there were three main issues or mistakes that I had when I first started eating school lunch. My first issue was not being able to finish my lunch. Like I said in the beginning, it was difficult to eat all of my food. Even once I got used to the portions, some days just have more food than usual. So what happens if you can't finish your food? Well, it happened to me in one of my first few weeks. I felt really full, but I still had some rice left over. I asked the teacher if it was okay if I can't finish. She said it's fine and she took my food away. Then, later at that school, they started giving me less food because they heard that I don't eat a lot. So yes, it's fine not to finish, but just know that people will find out. And it's best to let them know before you start eating it so you, they can give some of your food to someone else. Because there's always that kid that can eat three pieces of bread and two hot dogs and still finish on time. The second issue I had um, this might seem obvious to most people, but I didn't know where to put the straw in the milk carton. In America, I would open the milk carton and stick the straw in. But Japanese students don't do that. There's actually a hole in the milk carton. You just lift the paper on top of the hole and then put the straw in there. And the third issue I had was there was one time in the beginning when at an elementary school, everyone was finished eating and we all put our trays away and lunch was pretty much over. So I went back to the teacher's room. But then, after a bit in the teacher's room, a kid came back to get me because we didn't say gochisou sama deshita yet. Then I knew never to leave until we do the closing greetings. Even if the students start brushing their teeth and you start to feel awkward, it's okay. Just wait until everyone says gochiso sama deshita together. So those are the three main issues I had in the beginning. It wasn't really a big deal. You'll probably make some kind of mistake too, somehow, but it gets better. Oh, I mentioned brushing teeth. And yes, Japanese students brush their teeth at school after the meal. And teachers do too. But what about the ALT? Well, I never brushed my teeth at school, but some ALTs do. It's up to you. The students might think you're weird if you don't brush your teeth, but I just tell them that I'll brush them later in the teacher's room, which is another option too. And then there's dietary restrictions. Can kids with allergies eat school lunch? The answer is yes, kids with allergies eat school lunch. They just might have to eat something different on certain days and the school is well aware of their allergy. If a student is allergic to a lot of things though, then I'm not really sure. A previous ALT had a lot of dietary restrictions and she had to bring her own bento lunch to school every day. And I heard that she wasn't allowed to eat with the kids because her lunch was different. She had to eat in the teacher's room. If you're a vegetarian or something like that, then I would also say that you'll probably have to do the same. So that's pretty much all I have to say about my experiences with Japanese school lunch. Uh, if there's anything I haven't covered, then leave a comment and I'll answer your questions below. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I have more JET program and Japan related videos coming soon.